Creating rules on Cloudflare could be difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Luckily, they've just launched templates for the rules. So you can use these right now and you can use them on the Cloudflare free plan. That means that you have you can use up to 10 rules for free on this plan. So to locate the templates, go ahead and over to your dashboard, select the domain that you want to use. In this case, I'm, I'm inside here and you go to the rules section and there there's there's this option that's templates. This is brand new and they have several available templates. Now, before I show you how to use them, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. If you're looking for an affordable shared hosting plan right now, I do recommend that you grab it ASAP because they have a Black Friday deal going on right now. So they have the lowest prices going on right now. So head on over to the link in the description and select the plan that you want to use. These are the shared hosting plans that you can start grabbing right now. You can even grab this one, which is $2.95 a month, the most popular plan. I'm going to go ahead and choose it because the price is going to be even lower with my coupon code. Now, currently, Hostinger is going to ask you how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 40 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you'll be good to go for 40 months. I mean, that's four years already paid off. So this is the current price. But if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master, and apply it, the price is going to drop to $127.44. That's for four years paid off in, in advance. So that's a super low price. So definitely grab it right now because prices are really low due to Black Friday, all right? Okay, so let's go over to our rules over here. As I mentioned before, you'll find them in rules and in templates. Now, as of now, they have 20 templates available and they'll be launching more in the future, obviously. Now, to find your rules right here, you'll find the redirect rules right here. And currently, Cloudflare is going to allow 10 of these rules on the free plan. So right now, I've just deleted that one. There's zero out of 10 rules used right now. And I can launch these on the free plan. So I don't have to pay for a plan to use this right now. So there's several rules available. Depending on your needs, go ahead and select the rule that you want to use. And it'll, it'll take you step by step. It's kind of predefined how you set it up. And it, you won't get mixed up with other type of options. They'll be based on the template that you've just selected. For example, if I want to redirect with, when someone types www.mydomain.com, they'll redirect to the root, root domain. Most of us are getting used to just typing the domain and the .com, .net, .org, et cetera. So this is getting old, right? And sometimes when we make a, a business car or a, a painting on your business, et cetera, we're not using www anymore. We're just using domain.com. So you want to make sure that they go to the domain because if they type this and you don't have that set up in DNS, it'll go to a 404 page, right? So let's go ahead and use this rule. Here we go. And it's going to ask us the name for this rule, which is just the name. So we can go, go ahead and locate it. We can use the wild card. We can go ahead and set that up right here, or we can use all incoming requests. I mean, every single request, even subdomains and everything that has to do with that domain, it's going to go straight from www to just the domain.com, right? But if you use wildcard, you have options available. For example, if you want to use the specific domain only, you go ahead and remove this, the asterisk, if you want to use the option, the rule for subdomains to enable the asterisk right there. So that means that every single subdomain that goes before this or well, after this, it's going to redirect them to subdomain and the domain or the domain to .com .org. Let me give you an example. If someone types my domain with the www, it's going to redirect straight to this. So that's what it's going to do. All right. So it's now going to be my domain .com. All right. So it's straightforward, right? Now, in this case, let's go ahead and turn it back. That's how it needs to be. Here we go. Target URL is correct. Go ahead and deploy it. And here we go. It's now in the rules section. Redirect rules is now available here. And now I'm using one out of 10 rules on my free plan. If I want to disable this, I can go ahead and disable it, but it's still taking a slot here of my 10 rules that I have on the free plan. If you delete it, you go ahead and open up that slot again, all right? So use the templates wisely in case you want to use a lot of these templates so you don't pass that 10 rules on the free plan, all right? Now, there's several rules available here. There's the cache rule, which is a good rule, especially for static sites. Do remember that everything's going to get cached. That means it's going to be stored there in the history per se. 
And if you go ahead and update your website, make sure to clear your cache here on Cloudflare because it won't re-update unless you clear that cache for the amount of time that you select here, all right? So here we go. So you can do custom filter expressions or all incoming requests. That means that everything's going to be cached with this option. And then we have several options available that Cloudflare provides, for example, Edge CTL, Browse CTL, and all these are advanced features that are gonna make your site faster, load better, more security, and you decide what you want to add right here, all right? Once you're good to go, go ahead and deploy it. It's gonna cache everything right now with that template. So it's just super easy and straightforward to use these templates for that purpose. Now there's several more templates. Let's go ahead and check out another one. For example, I can change the port depending on certain circumstances. There's the remove HTTP header from request. There's the add static header on response. And for example, let's create that rule here. Here we have our options. We can do for all incoming requests. And what it's going to do, it's add header name and the value cookie name equals. Deploy it and you're good to go. You've now launched the add static header to response. Just like that, without having to uh, create a rule from scratch and kind of deciding how to do it, these templates will make everything super easy. And take advantage of the free plan that Cloudflare is going to provide you. So you can have all these available tools, including the template rules for free. You have few limits, but I mean, they're really flexible on those limits. So you can see right here on the templates, you have 10 rules available on the free plan, all right? And if you plan to grab your short hosting plan, don't forget to use my coupon code SASMaster. And that's a wrap.